Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. There he is, got him. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. This, he may strip us because he's like a 50 pounder. What's up, Fred? What you doing? Look at him under there looking for some bait fish. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another video. We are headed offshore fishing right now out of Pensacola, Florida. Supposed to have great weather today. It's been several weeks since we've been offshore. Right now, it looks amazing. We're going to try to do some sort of a catch and cook out here today. We have a special guest on board today. Of course, Captain Brian, but also Alex is making a return. If you watch my channel three, four years ago, Alex did uh, was on the channel a lot when we do our offshore videos. Me and Alex with the double up on Big Vermilions. Ho uh, hopefully, no storms, man. It, there was a lot of bad storms for a while. And I think it's I think it's gonna be fine today. Brian rocking the beach bum outdoor shirt, man. I yeah, like it, dude. Representing here. Looking good. <laughs> We're about to take off. We'll catch up with you probably at our first bait spot. It does not look like it's gonna be hard to get bait. There are just loads of bait schools out there. There you go. I think you've got them. <laughs> oh yeah, those are uh, those are herring. Nice. Those are nice big old herring. All right, there we go. So let me uh, get back on them here. It looks like we're gonna have to follow them. Up there, they're jumping out. We definitely need to uh, get those in the live well. Cigar mena, get him in here. All right, good deal, good deal. Getting a few, getting a few. Watch this. See how you're in them? All right, I don't want to reel at all. I want to leave slack in my line and then and just almost let it sit on the bottom. I mean, I've already got one on here. Okay. Whoo! All right, let's take it offshore. Love that trolling motor. It literally anchors us right on the spot. <laughs> it's so convenient. We're gonna start by taking some chum right here and just tossing it over and seeing if we can get some fish up, kind of in a feeding frenzy behind the boat. It looks like uh, the current is not overly strong and I'm loving this watercolor out here. We're gonna put it out on top and hopefully uh, get one of these fish that's coming up in our chum line here. Big old king mackerel came up right behind the boat here in the chum. Let's see if he'll eat. He just came up and ate the chum. Dang, that was a that was a nice fish right there. Let's just. Keep uh, keep it going. Hey, 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 we're on, we're on, we're on. Come grab him, come grab him. Here. Here. Nice. Just bit nice and smooth with him. That's a good fish right there. That did not take long, huh? Brian got him a vermilion over there. Have you caught a king mackerel before? No. Okay, so this may be a first right here. Got him, God, we got du doubled up out here. Doubled up out here. Look at them. They're jumping. They're jumping. They're going crazy over there. We need him for chum. That's a giant bonita. We'll take him. All right. Bring him over here. We'll grab him real quick. We'll take him all day for chum. All right. Let me. You uh... want a net? Nope. I'm just going to one, two, three, and go. Look at the size of that bonita right there. That is a giant. We're going to use him for chum, and Alex has got another oh, one. Man. So let's go ahead and start chumming these guys up. Now that was a tuna. Did you see him jump out there? Did you see the tuna jump? That was crazy. We have 10,000 bonitas behind the boat and like a couple kings and tuna. So weeding through these fish is easier said than done.
I don't want to catch a bonita, but I'd like to I'd like to try to catch a king or a tuna. But you never know. There's tons of bonitas out here right now, so there's a chance that's what's gonna happen. Oh, he's getting he's getting nervous. He's get, oh he's on. I'm already on. I'm on too. Oh man, unbelievable. Guys, there's maybe too many bonita out here. Unreal. It's crazy town. Another big old bobo. Woo! Come here, dude. These ed edge bonitas are a different breed. Uh, look at the size of these bonita that we're catching out here. Y'all check out what Alex just caught here. That is, I believe, a Spanish hogfish. Look how beautiful that fish is right there. Great job, dude. I'm just gonna grab it like this. Like the, like the LSU Cap 2 National Champions Baseball. That's right. I'm not, a, I'm not a Florida Gators fan, so I was pulling for L LSU all day. That is the biggest king that I have seen in a long, let me get a bait, gotta get a bait. Holy cow. Ugh. Oh my gosh, guys, absolute giant right here. Uh, come on, come on, where are you at? This is an app, this is the biggest king mac, maybe my PB, guys. The absolute tank right here. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. There he is, got him. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. This, he may strip us because he's like a 50 pounder. Let's, let's go follow him, let's go follow him. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry. Not with a trolling motor. We need to follow him with a big motor, but we can keep it down. All right, just fit, go to my line, go to the right, go to the right. I'm gonna try to be easy with him, but I mean, he's giant. That was awesome. You said yo-yoing for him. I know. Woo! That was cool. That was cool. I think it's him. I don't know. I, I saw it was a king, but I don't know if it was the one that was in our chum line prior that was massive. If it's the one that I saw before come up in our chum line, then it's the biggest king we've ever caught on this boat. I've got him on a jigging rod. I, this wasn't even a king rod, but I'll take it, whatever. Do we have one of those hooks? All right, he's ready to gaff, whoever wants to gaff him. Yeah. He's pretty big. I do. I don't ever. I don't think we've caught one this big on the boat. All right, come gaff him. Come gaff him. Oh, get him now! 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 You got him. Wow, Brian, that was a heck of a gaff shot. Wow, look at the head on that. Can you see him in the screen, Brian? Oh yeah. Okay, good. All, that fish in the screen. all right, good. Man. Woo! Yeah. Right there, guys. Wow. That is an absolute mammoth. Ooh. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. I used to fish mackerel tournaments when I was a kid in the 90s, and I have not caught a king that big since we used to fish mackerel tournaments. So it's really cool to put a put a big in in the boat like that. <laughs> and the fact that we saw him in the chum line, then we're able to feed him a bait makes it even cooler. I just enjoy fishing this way where I can see the fish out the back of the boat and uh, just pick pick out the one you want. That to be is fun. I don't what I don't. Oh, I don't want the shark. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming.
Come on, fish. Just saw another big king in the chum line right here. He tried to eat Alex's popper. <laughs> All right, go down further with that cigar, madam, and see if you get hit. There you go. Man, where are the jacks, Brian? I don't know. You sure we're at the right spot? <laughs> oh, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's on, he's on. Oh, man, another good one, I think. Oh, you're getting hit, you're getting hit. Start reeling, start reeling, start reeling. There you go. Oh man, he, I think he came, no he didn't. He's just coming back to the boat. Dang, that was cool. It's a good fish here. Another, another smoker. Good gracious. Oh, is that an Almaco? Oh, that was an Almaco, I believe. Dang, that was a keeper there. All right, Brand, what you got? I think it's a ki nice king. Another one. He's not as big as the first one, but he's a decent sized fish. Ooh. I hope this shark doesn't try to eat him. How big is shark? Like 200 pounds. <laughs> He's not small, I don't know. He's a pretty big one. Oh, there he is right there. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, another, another nice one. Golly, look what a fish. There we go, nice job, Brian. Two for two, I'm, I'm done, I'm worn out. Not quite as big as the last one, but still, nice fish. We're making our last stop of the day right here. We just pulled up on a little reef. I've got a glass meadow jig, light tackle. Watch this, I'm gonna drop it down. And I'm gonna hook up probably within like 20 seconds, let's see. There he is, there he is, got him, got him on the jig. Oh, that's a big one. That's a decent fish right here. Woo! That's a good snapper there. Ah. There we go. And it is snapper season here in Pensacola, Florida, so we can keep these guys. Check it out, not a bad snapper to catch on 20 pound test and a glass minute jig. This will be my last fish of the day. We're gonna take it in. Probably cook some of this mackerel up. All right, y'all, we're gonna go clean up some fish. It's been a fun day. We're having a big 4th of July party at Beach Bum Outdoors our outdoor store we're having a big sale and everything and so I am going to make a dip out of this guy I'm also giving the rest away because there's gonna be a lot of leftover meat and uh, I'm gonna bring it up to the uh, sale and we're gonna chow down on this dip these Dexter Russell knives are my favorite knife non-electric knife to use it just kind of cuts right through the fish they're super sharp inexpensive uh, they're easy to sharpen i'm a big fan of them and i am not sponsored by dexter russell i just have always used their knives even when i was like charter fishing look at that man this is a, gonna be a lot of a lot of meat. Whew, man. Oh, 
wish this was a Wahoo. That is giant. Look at the size of the row in this chick. Look at that. That is all row right there. I kind of want to try it. Dude, look at the size of this fillet. That is massive. Oh, man. All right, folks, we are back at the house and we are about to cook a big bowl of this mackerel and we are going to make a dip out of it that we can take to our big 4th of July party that we're having at Beach Bomb Outdoors and let everybody taste this awesome mackerel dip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this mackerel first and we don't, uh, we, we really don't eat a lot of king mackerel uh, at our house, but when we do, we, uh, we usually like to make a dip out of it because the uh, oily consistency of the, of the mackerel meat makes an awesome flavor dip. So we're gonna go just some salt, some pepper, paprika and cayenne. I tell you, these are one of my favorite fish to catch just for so many reasons, but the main reason is, is this is how I learned to saltwater fish, was mackerel fishing when I was a kid with my dad and my uncles who fished tournament king mackerel rodeos, and they used to drag me along with them. Let's get them in this pan right here. We're gonna get some olive oil down. This is the secret ingredient right here, and this is liquid smoke. And it's gonna, since we aren't going to take the time to smoke this fish, which I do highly recommend, you can also bake it and then just throw a few dashes of liquid smoke on each filet to give it that nice smoky flavor. And then we're gonna set it in the oven. Now for the fun part, and that's putting our ingredients together. We're gonna to start with a block of cream cheese. So I made this recipe earlier this year with Spanish mackerel. And of course, my wife, Melanie, who is an amazing cook, has tweaked this recipe a little bit. I will go over that with you here in just a second. But let's make sure and get our cream cheese nice and stirred up first. Now we're gonna add in our lemon juice and lime juice, our mayonnaise. And I guess everybody at Beach Bum Outdoors We'll be trying this fish dip, except for Bama Beach Bum, because he does not like mayonnaise. Let's get our ingredients in there. Grated Parmesan cheese. Finely diced pickled banana peppers, and this is where Melanie kind of changed the recipe. So the original recipe called for raw banana peppers and raw jalapenos but we decided to do pickled and we think that is going to be a lot better. Here are the finely diced jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos as well. Finely diced green onion, regular onion, some cilantro. And folks, if you wanna try this fish dip, we are gonna leave the recipe in the description below. Let's get our fish out. Yeah, look at there. We're gonna get our fish in a big bowl and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for a little bit. Look at that. We did forget one special ingredient that I'm gonna add right now, and that is some tiger sauce. Puts it over the top here. And then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it chill so overnight so that we can take it tomorrow to 
our big sale. We just made it to the store. It is July 1st here at Beach Bum Outdoors and we've already had a big crowd here this morning. We have a, uh, check it out, we've got a barbecue truck here today, food truck in the parking lot. I'm just gonna take you guys through the day with us. I am gonna now try the mackerel dip for the first time and then I'm gonna take it and let every, all the employees try it, so. Got it with a wheat then. Mmm. Pretty flavorful. Got a taste test our king mackerel dip. Ooh, oh, man. man. I just, I just ate. All right. Just one, one bite. All right, bye. That's delicious. Good. Seriously. All right. That's seriously good. Uh, it's not bad, is it? No okay. crap. What is you it? Like, uh, you like fish? Yes. All right. You like wheat thins? Yes. All right. Let's go. Okay. Test the mackerel dip. She's so much more willing than me. You are yeah. a willing participant. I like it. 10 out of 10. That's ten, really good. 10 out of 10. Are you lying for the no. camera? 10 out of 10. That's exactly what I like. I like that. Everything I like in one. So Emily tried it and like... Despised it. Couldn't stand it. Did you make it? Mm -hmm. Everybody else liked it. <laughs> That's mean. I like these wheat thins. That's really why I'm doing it. The wheat thin was good too. Will you please tell me what's in this besides just, fish? Just go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Chives. Celery. She doesn't like fish. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Always eating something. Uh, or uh -huh. yeah, just all I, about spending all I want money. you to do is try my fish dip. Okay. Oh, you look. You no, no, no. Really, okay. Yeah, I'm, like, you're making I'm serious. Me no, no. It's I'm really good. I'm serious. Kind of, you're like holding it. Can I look in it? Yeah. Okay. 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 It's strong, isn't it? it smells good. Okay. I'm super scared. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you're going to like it. It's good. What kind of fish is it? It's king. It's amazing. King Boom! I love it. Boom! Okay. Wow. Cruz, you want to try it? Fish dip? Up. <laughs> mackerel dip. It's it's king mackerel. Good. Please don't drop that on my head. <laughs> <laughs> like right over my head. That's good. That is amazing. <laughs> Courtney, we got some mackerel. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Courtney. What about Anna Lee? She's making a great face. See if you want some. You want to try some? Some fish dip, Anna Lee? Or no. Okay. Scott, Just give me a shot. You like it? All right, good deal. We're good. Not bad. Very good. Not Absolutely. bad. Thank you. Not bad. It's you actually, you really like it? That's oh, very good. <laughs> like it is Emily. Apparently, I'm the only one. But she doesn't eat fish at all. Yeah. So. Look what just arrived at Beach Bum Outdoor. Oh yeah, we're good right here. Oh, fail. <laughs> wow, first try. All right, let's, let's go to the baseball. Uh, we don't have a real baseball, so that's gonna be tough. Oh, I'm right through the one. Okay, let's go to basketball. Oh. I think you got a couple of cats. So folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Like I said, we're gonna be hanging out right here. Beach Bum Outdoors all weekend long. So come check us out on Monday. Me, Matt, and Brad should be out here. Other than that, folks, we'll catch you next time.